I thought I'd give you another update. Um, I have continued working on my character. Um, I believe I should be okay for uh, five seconds of an animation tomorrow. Um, I have uh, rigged and bound the character. Uh, he does all kinds of cool stuff. Um, all of his uh, IKs work. Here, I'll turn off the IK handles and the joints so we can just go by the uh, controls. So yeah, he moves. Um, I've already started uh, working on animations on an animation layer, so that's the ghosting that you see showing through there. Um, I'll show you those in a second. Uh, as far as I can tell, all of his uh, controls work. Um, I have uh, gone through and uh, made toggles for uh, all of his pieces. His eyes work. Uh, I had to parent his eyes to his head control. Uh, same goes for his sunglasses. Um, but the hair is bound uh, to the uh, to the bones. Um, you can turn off all this stuff. He's got a shirt. I uh, can see him in his undies. He's got boots, and I can even turn his hair off, which my original. Uh, um, intent for that was I was going to have a switch where I would have um, <clears throat> high poly hair and low poly hair uh, because I had already uh, sculpted on the um, on the mesh. Oh yeah, I forgot to, to mention that. Uh, I had a hard time working with the high poly mesh so I ended up reverting back to the original uh, low poly model that I had created in Maya before I put it in, uh, brought it into Mudbox and started sculpting on it. Um, uh, for some reason, it just it runs better. It's smoother. It's better for animation. Um, but I gave all of the uh, all the pieces uh, smooth, and I keyed the smoothing. So. You have that on uh, the world control here where I can say, oh, I want a medium quality polygon. So it's medium quality rather than here. Let me show you wireframe unshaded. Okay, we'll go back to whoop, back to low. Okay, that's low polygon. Um, give him some medium. He has medium amount of polygons. Uh, and then we have high polygon. So I think as I'm animating, I'm going to use the low polygon because it's much quicker. Uh, it's easier to render or to uh, you know, real-time rendering for the uh, the viewport. So there's that. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I did make visibilities. Oh, I have to add the sunglasses into that. Apparently I uh, made some adjustments after I had already created that and I forgot to fix that. So I'm going to uh, do that after I get done uh, posting this and um, answering my questions for the day. Um, so there's that. Uh, I'll turn the wireframe on shaded off. Um, I can show you uh, I did finish a walk cycle. So here's this walk cycle. This file is referenced, well actually it's another file, but I'm going to rename this after I make a copy of it. Or maybe I'll rename the copy. Same difference, I suppose. Anyway, um, there, the, okay, in the animatic scene file, uh, there is a file where the world control or there's a file that's referenced where the world control is keyed for movement. So I'm going to replace that file with this file and uh, hopefully it will still have all the keys on this um, world control because I haven't changed the name of this world control. Um, so there's my walk cycle. He's on low poly. That's about as fast as it'll go for right now because I told it to to uh, play every frame. Um, I am currently working on the run cycle which is not finished. 
Um, I'm having problems with the pole vector. His knees are buckling and twisting. Um, yeah, it's. I'm still working on the base keyframes. It's right about. Oh no, I had to. I had fixed that. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. That's my first. Uh, my first effort towards uh, a character all the way through an entire character. You know from scratch all the way through modeling through sculpting which actually got uh, canned but <laughs> um, and on also uh, rigging and animating so on and so forth and uh, soon to be rendering hopefully in the next couple of weeks anyway so there's that um, I will work on that later I'm going to answer my questions now see you later